Hey everybody, welcome back. We are uh, right now live streaming from our gym at Singapore American School to the world using YouTube Live. And while we've got uh, eight cameras going across two gyms with two live events going on on our channel at one time, we've got commentators, uh, we've basically got it all. Uh, what I wanted to talk with you about today is that you can live stream using YouTube uh, from your classroom with just your laptop. You don't need this big setup that we've got. You don't need a big event like a volleyball tournament. You just need kids doing cool stuff that you want to share with, your, with their parents. And so I want to show you how that's done using YouTube Live. Let's take a look. To start live streaming, you'll need to go to your Creator Studio, which you know is up here under your avatar, and then clicking on Creator Studio. Once in the Creator Studio, you'll need to go to live streaming. If you're not enabled for live streaming, something will pop up here to tell you that you're not, and you should verify your channel, go through those steps. But I've already enabled it, and I'm going to move from Stream Now to Events. After clicking on events, there are two buttons that we could click. We could click right here, schedule a new event or new live event. Both of them are going to take us to the same place. And under basic info, we can give it a title. We can schedule a time. You could give your video a description here. You could add tags if you wanted your video to be searchable and findable on YouTube. And over here we have the privacy settings that we are all accustomed to on YouTube. You've got public, where anyone can find it unlisted, where you can share a link and only people with the link can watch the video. And then private, where you've really locked it down and you'll need to add specific users. I'm going to use unlisted. I think that's a pretty safe thing for using in schools. For type, we can do quick or custom. The cool thing about using quick is that you don't have to know anything about streaming or bit rates and Google's going to sort it all out for you and things are just going to work. So we're going to use quick, which uses Google Hangouts on air. I, there is one thing for schools I would want to check under advanced settings, and that is this right here, enabling the live chat. I'm going to remove that just because I don't want people to be able to toss in nasty comments in the middle of my video. So I'm going to undo that. I'm going to go back to basic info and I'm going to click the create event button. Now that we've created our event, I'm going to go back over here to events and you see it queued up for me right here. One of the great things about scheduling an event is that you can share the link to the event ahead of time with parents. To get that link, click on the title of your video. This is the watch page now of my video. You'll see that it's using my channel art as the custom thumbnail. And there's a countdown here letting parents know when it's going to happen. Now, if a parent clicked on this set reminder button, they would, if they were logged into YouTube on their phone, get a reminder, or if uh, they might have notifications set up in Chrome, they could get a reminder. They'll even get an email reminder. But the most important thing about this page is that right here, the URL, this is the URL that you can share with parents so that they can tune in when you go live. We're back over at the Creator Studio now where I can start the Hangout on Air. Start my live stream by clicking Start Hangout on Air. This opens up a Google Hangouts window. Google Hangouts is a video conferencing web app. And if I move my mouse around, I get all sorts of tools. The most important ones are turning on my microphone and turning on my video camera. If I click on the microphone, it's using the default microphone. And if I click on video camera, hey, there I am, because it's using my webcam on my laptop. The cool thing about this is if I just uh, use this webcam laptop. I can turn my laptop around, face my students, and now I'm broadcasting them and whatever they're doing. Maybe it's a presentation live to the world or to the people I've shared the link with. I'm going to turn the camera back off for now. This button down here, the green one, Start Broadcast, gets the whole thing started. Now I can click the Start Broadcast button even before it's time to go. If I wanted to start a few minutes early, that's not a problem. I click on Start Broadcast. And I get a message that tells me I'm broadcasting. You get a notification that this Hangout on Air is live, and if I were pointing the webcam 
at my students and turning on the webcam here, I'd be broadcasting whatever they're doing. Now I'm going to toggle over to the actual watch page for a second just to show you what it would look like over there. And there we are live, well, about a 15 second delay. One other thing I did want to tell you is a cool thing about using this quick Google Hangouts and YouTube Live is that that link that you share with parents originally is also where the broadcast will be archived. So that link is going to continue to work and parents can go back and watch it at another time on another day and everything is automatically archived there on YouTube. And at this point we can click on the stop broadcasting button to cease the broadcast and we'll get a little notification. And that's it. You don't need a fancy camera. You don't need some deep technical know-how. You just need your laptop with a webcam and an internet connection and YouTube and you can stream the cool stuff that your students are doing to the world or to their parents and grandparents who are most likely to tune in. So thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a like. If you are wanting more videos like this coming your way, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. And lastly, check out youtubeclassroom.com where you can find out more about my book, 50 Ways to Use YouTube in the Classroom. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.